welcome to getting it done north of seven in today's video i'm going to show you how to prep your lawnmower for spring also the other day i did a video about how to prep your lawn tractor for spring and i'll leave a link to that video right here and also i'll leave a link down in the description below okay so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to dump the old oil out even though it's not that dirty we're going to dump it out and put in fresh oil the only thing about these lawnmowers is in order, there is no drain plug at the bottom under here at the bottom of the engine you have to tip it over upside down i don't like that but that's what we have to do so we'll just take the dipstick out put it aside And then I'll tip it up so the oil runs out. Okay, I drained all the old oil out of it. Now I'm going to fill it back up with fresh oil. And this lawnmower calls for 15 ounces of SAE 30 oil. What I like to do is I like to pre-measure the amount of oil I need. So I bought this measuring cup at a dollar store and it shows me exactly how many ounces I need to add. So I just put it in here and we're good to go. So I'll add this to the engine now. Okay, now the oil is in the engine. I put the dipstick back in. Now we're going to check the air filter and make sure that it's clean. And if not, we'll clean it. Now, as you can see, that's pretty dirty. Actually, I could probably use a new one. So I'm gonna order a brand new one and put it in. And clean out any debris in here. There may be leaves or pine needles, something like that. Should be fine. All right, as I look into this filter more, it's really dirty. There's no way you can clean this. You could put solvent or compressed air to it, but so you, you would just end up destroying your air filter. So you're better off just putting a new one on. They're probably only a few dollars anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order a new filter for this one and probably the other lawnmower as well. See, we do lawn cutting for other people as well. So our equipment gets used a lot and this is the result. So I'll just put this back on here for now to keep it covered, keep the dirt out of there. Okay, next we're going to check the spark plug. I may have to order one of them as well. Like I said, we won't be cutting grass for at least another four, five, six weeks. So this is why I'm just getting it done early in case I need to order parts like the filter or the spark plug or new blades. So you must as well get it done early and then you're ready. Yeah, this spark plug's fine. Sometimes people change their spark plug every year, but I find you can get a couple years out of a spark plug anyway, so but you know what? It's not a bad idea anyway for what they cost. You're looking at about five or six dollars. So, but if it's working, it's working, right? If it's it's if it's sparking, it works. But it's always good to have one on hand for a backup. I may even have some around here. I don't even know. I'll go have a look, but 
Well, so far we drain the old motor oil and we put fresh motor oil in. We check the air filter, it's no good, so I'm gonna order a new air filter. And we check the spark plug, it's fine. Now we're gonna check the blades, or the blade, and probably sharpen it up a bit. Okay, now we're gonna remove the blade. We'll check it over. Actually, this blade is pretty good shape. I must have sharpened it up before the end of the season. It's not bad, but I will give it a little touch up. Okay, now we'll put the blade back on. It's a mulching blade, so you want to make sure that these this side of the blade that's turned up is up this way, up towards the base of the lawnmower. There's a couple guide pins here that holds your blade in place so that your blade doesn't turn. You want to make sure that your blade is sitting over those pins perfectly. Okay, I just added some fresh fuel to it, so we'll start it up. the second pole. That's because I put fuel stabilizer in the gas at the end of fall before I started it away for the winter. I hope this video helps you with prepping your lawnmower for the upcoming season. If it did, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and that notification bell because that will let you know when I have new videos coming out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.